Hi all, thought I'd just make a quick brief video uh, about fitting the uh, ZYX uh, fly wireless unit to my Hobby King 600. I'll not describe everything about this heli because there's lots of videos already on my channel about this heli, but this notice something significant really. Uh, we've been flying this for over 200 flights with just a little, little 5 amp back here from uh, from Hobby King, uh, Turnigy, uh, and it seems it, it, it's run fine for the for the last 200 odd, odd flights, and it's 5 amp, uh, so it should actually be rated with this, as we're going to see in a minute. It's only this this the servo is only going to draw about 1.3 amp uh, in total when, when when using using the fly barless unit, but the voltage drop across it is significant to make these servos chatter. Now okay we're only using the Turnigy uh, 958 Metal Gear servos and I've moved this up to 6 volts for now although these only take 4.8 volts so this this is just going to be a really quick test I don't want to damage them but I want to show you what, what I can see when I'm only using this this little little unit against the the Align unit which, which is a 6 amp rated uh, back here which is also running on 6 volts, which is why I've got the Turnigy one set to 6 but I want to show you what the differences are with with the control of, of the swash here ok so let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch that on ok so I'm going to switch that on I'm just watching the the, uh, the swash there and I switch on the TX ok, we're initialising Initializing the thing, the fly barless unit. So what I'm going to do is I've got I've got tele telemetry set on here. So this is the minimum maximum voltage. So I've got 6.1, 5.7 to the RX, and I'm going to flip just to just the the uh, the idle up switch to make those servos jump down. Now, now just look at the chassis. I don't know if you can see that. If I can make that. You can certainly probably hear it, but I think you can see that, that chattering. Okay, and if you notice, as it does that, the RX voltage drops to 3.4 volts. Now you can probably hear yeah, that. I don't know if you captured that, but it was it sort of chattered for quite some time then. Now, of course, if it's 3.4 volts on the RX, that's 3.4 volts to your servos. I'm going to stop that because it's actually not going to do my servos any good. So I'll just switch that off, and we can just look at the uh, the what's up meter now. And notice that the the current amps is actually 1.35, so it's nowhere near the five amp this is rated. But the voltage drop across there is significant. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just loop that out. Right, disconnecting this here. Give me a moment here. I'll just do this. I might try and cut this bit out if I can. I don't want to make, it, make a long video if I can, so I'm just going to drop that in there now. So now, I'm going to just connect up this. So now we're actually running on the Align unit. I've got a flash there on the, on the RX, but that's only because I've uh, switched it off. Right now, I'm going to switch the uh, switch the the TX off again. I can turn it back on just so I can get a, a nice new tele telemetry voltage signal, and it comes in. There you go. That's it. So they've got 5.9 volts now. I can try and get rid of that light on there. That's it. 5.9 volts. If I flick this now, it goes down to about 5.3. But notice the difference. In the swash, there's no chattering. It's now gone. So I think that might be a significant finding when fitting this unit. If you've got chattering on there, it might not be your servos that aren't quite up to, scra up to scratch. It might be the actual back that's not supplying enough current or voltage, as it is actually. Okay.